Wouldn't it be nice if your dog let you know when he has to go potty? In this video, I'm going to outline five steps that my family followed when we trained our multi-poo Roscoe to ring a potty bell whenever he has to go to the bathroom. Then I'll also reveal at the end, is using a potty bell worth the time and effort? I'm Julia, and this is our one-year-old multi-poo Roscoe. So this is the potty bell that we use. It's silver, we bought it off Amazon, and it's meant to be mounted on the wall beside the door. To ring it, your dog will simply touch the bell with his nose or hit it with his paw. This is only one of the many potty bell designs out there. There are others that hang from the doorknob. If you'd like to check out this particular potty bell, I'll have the link down in the description. So let's move on to step one of training Roscoe to use a potty bell. After installing it beside the door, we first got into the habit of ringing it before we took Roscoe out to go potty. This way Roscoe grew familiar with the bell, and he also began to associate the ringing sound with going outside to go potty. If your dog is scared of the bell at first, you can encourage him by giving him a treat whenever you ring the bell. Next, we taught Roscoe the touch command. This command is pretty self-explanatory. Your dog just touches his nose or his paw to a particular object. First, we just grabbed a tree and we kind of stuck it in front of Roscoe's nose. And then he was kind of lured on by the smell. And when his nose came in contact with our fingers, we said, yes, touch, and we gave him the treat. We did this over and over until Roscoe knew that the word touch meant touch his nose to our finger. The aim here was for Roscoe to eventually touch the bell with his nose or his paw. Another method for teaching touch is to tap your finger on your dog's nose and then give him a treat. Eventually, your dog will catch on and touch his nose to your finger all by himself. Roscoe, will you demonstrate the word touch? I have a little peanut butter Kong here, so maybe this will act as a reward. Touch! Once Roscoe mastered the touch command, we began to apply it to the bell. So we put on his leash and got ready to go outside to go potty. Then we'd stop by the door where the bell was, point to the bell, touch. and tell him the command touch. Now at first he was a bit confused and a bit reluctant. I think he was both scared of the loud noise the bell made as well as the vibration of the bell on his nose. Sometimes we'd hold our hand next to the bell to sort of entice him since he was so used to touching our finger. The times he did ring the bell with his nose, it was a very touch faint it. noise. But nevertheless, we gave him lots of praise and took him out immediately afterwards. If he didn't ring the bell, we'd just ring it ourselves and then take him outside. It took about a month for Roscoe to consistently ring the bell whenever we told him to do so. During this month, he transitioned just on his own from touching the bell with his nose to swatting it with his paw. This gave off a louder noise and I think it was more comfortable for him since he didn't feel the vibration on his nose. I think it kind of depends on your dog and you can just see what your dog's natural tendencies are if they like touching it with their nose or their paw. So around the time Roscoe started swatting it with his paw, we sort of found ourselves saying the command ring the bell instead of the command touch. So our next goal was for Roscoe to ring the bell when we told him to do so before we even went to put on his leash or were standing with him beside the door. So when Roscoe was showing signs he had to go potty, we'd point across the room and say, do you need to go potty? Go ring the bell. See how he looked at me? If he heard our words and he did ring the bell, which took some time at first, we would give him praise and right away we'd take him outside to go potty. If he didn't ring the bell and he still had to go out, we would once again ring the bell ourselves or we'd just repeat the command until he did ring it on his own. So now comes the question, what if your dog develops a habit of ringing the bell to either play or get your attention? Well, once Roscoe learned that ringing the bell equals going outside, he definitely grew tempted to ring it even when he didn't have to go potty. One period last fall, Roscoe started to ring the bell incessantly and it drove us crazy. We considered even taking the bell out because it just lost all its purpose. But seriously, what do you do here? How do you fix this problem? Because if you think about it, you should probably take him outside because you need to enforce that ringing the bell equals potty. But then if you do take him out, you're also rewarding the bad behavior of ringing it for the wrong reason. So this was our solution. If Roscoe rings the bell, we take him outside and we wait a couple minutes. And if he doesn't go potty, we take him right back inside. The key here is don't reward your dog with playing or doing something else fun outside if your dog rings the bell just to get your attention. Are you choking over there? Here, why don't you settle down and get some rest here? This way, your dog will learn that ringing the bell is only for potty if you never play when he rings the bell. 
So the final step in the ultimate goal is for your dog to ring the bell throughout the day when he has to go potty to alert you so you can then take him outside. This just takes time and repetition of the past few steps. There really is no magic trick, it just takes building a routine. In the mornings when we know Roscoe has to go potty, sometimes we'll wait for him to ring the bell himself just as extra reinforcement. Even now, he's still hesitant to ring the bell and usually only rings it if he really has to pee. So, should you go out and buy a potty bell? Well, I wanna list some pros and some cons. First, we'll start with the pros. A potty bell is really helpful for alerting you when your dog needs to go potty, especially if you're distracted or you forget throughout the day. It's also a helpful tool for communicating with your dog, and it can also aid in preventing potty accidents. Now here are the cons. It can be annoying if your dog starts ringing it all the time. And if your dog does start ringing it all the time, it has the potential for losing its effectiveness. So is it necessary? Yes and no. First, if you're the kind of person who is inclined to forget about taking your dog out to go potty, then I think a potty bell will really help you out. However, if you're a person who has a solid routine of the times you take your dog out throughout the day, then I think a potty bell won't really make your life any easier. As for me, I'm sort of a routine-oriented person, so I kind of align with the second scenario. However, I think a potty bell really helps on the occasions that I do forget to take Roscoe outside. For instance, the times he rings it most is around dinner time when it's my duty to take him out. So in conclusion, a potty bell is a great tool for potty training. We personally didn't use a potty bell until... potty bell? We personally didn't use a potty bell until Roscoe was older, but you can start at any time. Like training your dog anything, potty training with a bell definitely takes time, but I definitely think it's worth it if you think so. If you're in the middle of potty training your multi poo puppy and you'd like a list of other potty training tips, check out this video. Roscoe and I will see you next time and thank you so much for watching. Bye!